Hello everyone, my name is Ben Pope and welcome to this first fixture for our Total War Community League set up by uh, Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, Lord Rexasaur, and a couple others. Uh, and my first fixture was played against uh, an armchair general and we played in Napoleon. I haven't played Napoleon in a while, so I'm going to be kind of rusty on terminology and so on. But uh, we're just going to go through the replays. We played two games in a home and away. The first game is going to be the away game. And it was a city uh, assault style where um, you can take over the town hall and fight, fight on these uh, sort of narrow areas here. And it was kind of a long fight uh, because... Um, I haven't played this in a while and we both kind of, um, I'm not sure if uh, an armchair general plays this a whole lot, but uh, they were very close games overall and I'll let you kind of see how that turns out. I brought, um, we, had, we had a few rules, I think it was a um, limit of three light infantry and two artillery and there's my I have a howitzer and a six foot uh, six pounder um, artillery there I brought um, three or four, four different cav crusaders there ulans uh, is it just I know it's just three calves see I already forgot and my uh, main force is going to be a couple of grenadiers and um these guys are militia there, the Landwehr, and then I have uh, German Fusiliers and the General Staff. So I'm kind of um, leaving this um, hard to say <laughs> cavalry <laughs> name um, back there, and I'm kind of just coming up. I didn't know what to expect, and he was doing the same thing, but he he went for this bridge here and. Um, Actually, we missed it. There was a. Uh, I sense. Should be paying attention to what's going on. Let's go on a normal uh, pace here. So I was bringing my guys up. He had a uh, artillery uh, unit here, and I and I rushed my calf to it. I forgot to actually get to that part. And then um, his light infantry there are are still firing through these houses and giving me trouble and I brought my lion infantry up here and um, put two units here in case he comes across the bridge and uh, there's gonna be a fight at this bridge for quite a long time and my Jaegers here are gonna be shooting and uh, we're gonna go f slightly faster uh, just so you can we can get to where the action is. Uh, his troops are moving slowly. I ran my troops up. He's marching them. Um, I like ran everybody up. <laughs> so I uh, got everybody tired here. Now I'm actually taking uh, some pop shots at his units through the houses. So uh, that's gonna look for people dropping. There's There's one. Napoleon still looks great as a game. It's uh, you know it's not as high detailed as we have uh, the newer games, but it still looks great. Oh, they're still able to quite a quite a show of uh, artillery happening. Um, my howitzers and my six pounders eventually start firing from here, and I'll be targeting their. Um, masses so because this this fight is going to take a while um, so we're going to skip just kind of speed forward a little bit um, I was trying to cross the bridge here but I, I didn't actually realize that my guys were going to be the salt mashed by, by now I gave him the order to attack one of these lines and um, it's kind of a bad idea, but yeah. So it's 
uh, again, Austria versus France. He had uh, a lot of grenadiers and fusiers of the line. Uh, it's kind of the rule was that that's going to be the core. Then, of course, these guys, like light infantry, it's going to be a few of those around. Um, here we have an engagement on the bridge, on the land bridge. And that would have been fine if he had, didn't have this guy here, because now I already took up a bunch of um, morale damage and uh, getting charged by the infantry. So I decided to move them back. Uh, and he just kind of has superior numbers there. On this side, it's still kind of an even Steven sort of thing. And it's going to be like this for quite a while, so we're going to just speed it up. Except for I, you know, lost the unit here, so <laughs> then I'm like, okay, fine, I'll pull back. You can have the bridge, I guess. And, um, yeah. This, uh, this Total War Community League is actually a really, really cool idea. Um, those guys, uh, my mistake there, I had them target somebody instead of just sit in line and shoot. So then he, you know, they went and chased across the bridge. Which makes him mess up. So really cool idea to have this league uh, set up. And it's a um, Google Plus page that we all get together and, and chat and, and share content and so on. And um, I think he had he had artillery's too, but I don't know what what they were firing at. This guy's not set up to fire. At this point, I have um, shovel slaggers, shovel slaggers, chevel slaggers. I don't know. It's one of those units. They're a medium cav, so they're pretty good at uh, chasing up people, but also uh, sitting in a, sitting in a fight and, and putting up a fight. Um, this bridge it now has an engagement. My uh, militia is here with a grenadier and a fusilier. And artillery is attempting to shell them, but it's a good thing artillery can fire without running out of uh, ammunition because um, they don't hardly hit much. So, yeah. Except for when you get in close range with them and then you get like canister shots and have fun with those. So overall, this this was fun. This was it was nice to go back to Napoleon, and um, here have a Jaegers, Winbuches Jaegers. They're just firing on their um, fusiliers there. I think he misused his artillery. I'm not sure because they're idle and not attacking probably just forgot to set them up uh, but they were a threat to me anyway so I was firing at them with my howitzer I have um, people in the town hall initially I put even more than one unit in there uh, we, we played on smaller unit size just because uh, we didn't want any sort of performance issues. Uh, I wasn't really concerned about performance on my end, but uh, he thought he might have problems with it, so. Yes, well if we blink we miss something, but we're just gonna do sort of a just move around looking at units for a bit. Um, I believe I believe these guys are sort of engaging 
then these guys are trying to engage so for a while we just set up the bridges and we had artillery and uh, light infantry do stuff and then my unit started running out of, out of ammunition um, and at this point my the balance of power was not in my favor uh, so he he got tired of waiting and chased across came across the bridge but uh, as you see there uh, no mercy with the grenades although I kind of missed most of them and from here on is where it kind of starts to get the action going so him charging across the bridge uh, was kind of nice for me because I was able to just kind of sit there and take the fight and um, this came out in my favor on this side eventually uh, let's see how it, how it pans out, I even forgot how I went some of my units break um, I was trying to throw grenades but because they're in melee range they're in melee combat they're not going to actually throw grenades so I think I'm throwing grenades now no, not yet how is the round blowing it up in the air there um, at this point I moved in a artillery unit the 6 pounder is going to sit here and it's going to go into the canister shot and try to get some shots across He's bringing his cavalry across, charge in. But at this point, I have superior numbers. And, um. And there goes the first. The first unit broke. His lancers kind of did a number on them. And those were militias. So, I think eventually I put this guy into canister shot. At this point, I'm feeling confident that I could probably approach this bridge and uh, usually micromanaging um, gets sort of overlooked. And you can, you know, if people are paying attention to one side, you can uh, maybe sneak across the other side. So at this, at this point, uh, it's looking like it's, it's anybody's bridge here. I, I even forgot about my melee unit. My There's the canister shot. Destroy those light infantry. They got, they got, they got running. Uh, I think he makes the move on this side too. I just kind of let it. I just kind of let it be for a while. Um, yeah. Then my cav hopped in here. I pulled back the German fusiliers because of this unit was in range and outflanking them. So should be able to see more people drop. Drop. Ooh. Ouch. Well done, sir. <laughs> oh. That was nice. I sort of whacked him with the butt of the rifle. Uh, I moved in this bridge. But he had a lot more cap, so he's going to bring in those lancers. And uh, chasseurs. Uh, eventually he is. This guy is still shooting up after somebody. Again, because I had a target. They're chasing the cab or something. I don't know what they're doing. So they're going to get chopped up by those guys.
More carnage. Yeah. Sensor, fire, fire. Okay. No. Why are you moving? Just sit there and fire. Okay, there you go. So these guys did good, and then I brought in grenadiers. I think I tossed some grenades in. Not in time. Not sure who's winning over here now. Oh! Okay, well that was probably a bad idea, but I eventually tossed grenades. Right in my own face. <laughs> Epic bridge charge there. Ah, uh, yes, my own cab is coming in. French cab is like, oh gosh. Um, I felt like this was a better bridge for me to attempt to take over. And so I did. I, I That's why I brought in the cab here and, and took out that contingency there. And now these units are going to move in and flank. Um... He's got his general back there. Marshal Salt. Salt. Right. Uh, this area is getting action. Jeez. Uh, okay. So again, he ch he chased his. Uh, he ran his. Um, Chasseurs across and took out that unit of Fusiliers because I didn't get in. I didn't get him into uh, square fast enough. And I'm bringing my own cav to support from behind. Uh, and now it's kind of like uh, square something. Do something. Better survive for a while, guys. Because the only help you're getting is these guys. And uh, we're gonna wait here and see how this happens. Apparently, I ran through them. So my fusiliers are running, but the cab is going to sort of dish out the fight to these guys and those other guys. Right, at this point, I think we're, oh, we're engaged here, but I wasn't really paying attention, so they're uh, terrible, terrible formation here, guys. You could be like shooting yourselves, and, and now I move them. Yeah, let's uh, let's speed forward a little bit. Uh, this is pretty much gonna be uh, my units taking out what's left here. This kind of cancels out. Uh, well, they routed, so my cab is going back across, and the PC is saying that I will be winning soon. So the announcer is saying that I'll be, be winning soon. Let's watch some melee fights. People are getting stabbed. Yikes. No blood and gore DLC for this game, so we didn't see any uh, guts and blood. The six pounders here are still shooting. So is my howitzer. 
I think at this point I moved in uh, my six pounder closer and I'm um, confident and I'll be moving these Fusiliers across but he's gonna put these guys into canister shot and he's gonna do some damage here I believe there he goes so I was like oh no double back double back uh, I think I've moved those guys too I don't know but yeah um, My Grenadiers came in fighting his Marshal General and uh, this guy's gonna charge in and so it's pretty much over with that's all he has left even though I lost more Grenadiers there so that was the first game it was a victory for myself and um, Let's go look at the second game really quick. There's game two with Armchair General. This was my home game. So I picked a. Um, it's the Austrian Pinnacles. It's a snow map. It's pretty much a hill in the center and you have to climb up it. Uh, kind of a bad idea after <laughs> I realized after I, you know, picked it and we were, we were climbing up this hill. I'm going to fast forward climbing up this hill and people were like dead tired and losing confidence and stuff by the time they got up here uh, it's sort of where the fighting will take place anyway but I wanted to make it up to the tree line before he did and I'm not really sure if I did very well in this one I didn't I didn't get here before he did and which I don't know why I, I don't know if this I was the attacker so maybe my uh, climb is longer than his. Uh, same idea for the unit rules. Um, we had limits of three um, what are they called? Light infantry and two artillery. I'm, I think I think I might I might see more than three of these icons, which means that I made a mistake and brought too many of these. But uh, yeah, I don't remember. I don't know why I did that. But yeah. So anyway, so he's up here before uh, I am, and at this, I didn't really realize quick enough. So people are already fatigued coming up here, and we're gonna be taking fire. And he's got all his troops in this uh, spot, which which is well protected by rocks and everything. So I'm already losing people running. They're running away already. <laughs> I'm trying to get into position to fire. Um, bringing my cav across here, and I'm gonna just charge into this because I'm over overwhelmed, out, out outnumbered. So, it's not going to be a very pretty fight. Uh, my light infantry is, is very tired after coming out here. And I thought I would flank across this side. And, and so I did that. I brought them all over there. Um, he ran through with one of his uh, 40 second foot black watch uh, unit there. Looks like I forgot to put the unit in a smaller size here, so it's medium, so 120 people, which was fine. I don't think he had any problem with um, with the. Lag or anything. Uh, my uh, artillery is here and firing. Um, eventually this kind of steadies out where I have to put units over here. And I have two units of cav fighting here and this unit is fighting here. Um, these guys are not sure where to fight so they're in the crossfire. But this guy's 
Uh, he kind of did the same thing I did. He was ex expecting to hold this position, so he moved those guys in too far out. Um, these units are fighting here, and I don't know at what point, but I didn't really pay attention, so I'm going to sit in this view for a while. Uh, he charges across with his um, foot soldiers and just levels these guys out. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, his 9-pounder is shooting at my guys. And he's shooting in a uh, canister shot, so that's kind of devastating. I'm having to, like, run away from all of it everywhere. Um, this kind of went back and forth. Uh, he, had a, he had the best position, or the better position there. I think um, as soon as that those rifle unit got routed, he realized. He realized that I'm there. He tried. I tried to bring in my cav uh, to outflank, but he was ready for that. He had these guys pointed, pointed the right direction. I don't know where my general was. Oh, my general was over here. Right. So my general actually takes out that unit. Um, I didn't realize these guys were facing downwards, so my cab gets chopped up. Uh, he turned these guys around, I believe. Yeah. Quite, quite devastating. My light infantry isn't good enough to stay in the stand there for too long. Um, yeah, there go some canister shots. I kind of had him surrounded, but I didn't do a very good job. Didn't do a very good job at uh, making it work. And little things like you know, I told those guys to retreat, but they're just walking away instead of retreating away. Uh, this is when he charges his foot soldiers in. And apparently somebody was out of ammunition here already, so... That really sucks. So, him charging those guys in, I lose all my light in infantry. Um, so it doesn't matter that I had an extra one. I didn't really, really realize that I had an extra one. Uh, yeah. Um... Uh, so this is probably the only replace that you guys will see because he didn't get um, he didn't get to save this replay. Um, Mr. Armchair General said he just he clicked it, but then something happened and it didn't save. I don't know, canceled it on accident or something. Uh, so if uh, Dragonheart or Lord Rexor or anybody wants the replays, I can I can send them to you guys somehow. Not even sure how that's done. <laughs> um, and it's it's really been a while, but it's, it was fun. It's been a while since I've done Napoleon. It was fun. So, these three units of foot soldiers uh, and fencibles took out my line infantry. And now it's just kind of like, uh, really, seriously. Uh, I'm going to fast forward because it's kind of a stalemate here. We keep shooting back and forth. A lot of my units retreat and come back. Um, my cab's going to sit here because they can't really do anything. Um, General and Howitzer and 12-pounders were I brought this time. And I decided to bring my 12-pounder 12 12-pounder 12 up and... Uh, support here because he was coming in closer with his infantry and he was shooting um, shooting those rounds at me in close range canister shots so I decided to bring my um, my general closer and my 12 pound artillery and I think at this point I decided to 
target his general with my howitzer. So, we're going to go back to a little bit faster mode here. He's got two units coming across down here, so I have some, about half of Hungarian Grenadiers there and about half of uh, German Fusiliers. Just kind of holding my base so they can just walk in. And it's going to be a mostly in his favor for the rest of this. And it kind of goes back and forth, the balance. Um, me bringing this guy here. And although he was shooting right at it, so he destroyed one of my one of my uh, units, one of my tanks. Tanks? <laughs> uh, cannons. And bringing this here and shooting cannister shot was helping. He took another one out here. And uh, so I got a lucky shot on his general, which helped me out a lot. I was, I was waiting for that. I was hoping for that. And I kind of got confident again with this uh, unit of militia came back. And I thought, hey, you know, why not put him on fire in advance here? But of course, they fired from like, you know, I don't know. They fired in the hill um, when they first started firing. So <laughs> it's like, great, guys. Good job. So let's just let this uh, sort of flow through. I don't want to make this video too long, but it looks like it's going to be too long anyway. Uh, okay, this, right. I thought of uh, engaging with these units while these guys are firing. And some of these guys have a good line of fire, but the rest of them don't. Like, uh, guys are firing at that tree in the hill. Um, and of course, the Grenadiers were going to toss in grenades, but then they broke. <laughs> I was like, go in there and toss grenades. Toss grenades are useful, useless things. He ran away with his general unit. And although his general was dead, I don't know if that was keeping his morale up for having the general unit around without the general. But it was not routed sitting there. These guys are just exchanging fire, I believe. No, they're out of range. Not even sure if they're getting any... They're getting shots in. He's ignoring this militia, which, you know, that's fine. Probably okay. He's charged in with his units again because that's, that's one of the strengths of the uh, English troops is that they can, you know, they'll, they'll take a few hits on the way in, and then if they if they get in melee range, then they're in good shape. Uh, but these units had a lot more um, morale, and they're almost almost full units there. Um, yeah, what happened here, I think, I saw his units kind of break, so I think I was beginning to get more confident, and I was looking to sort of jump in, eventually I did something, forgot what I did, oh, I moved the general to attack these guys. And I moved the uh, horses, my cav, to take out this unit. I lost one of the units of cav. Um, I moved these guys in. He actually didn't kill my general, but he killed all those horses because he put his guys into square formation. Um, my general ran away. There. No, that's not it. There's one, one unit, a general staff. <laughs> so he didn't die. Um, 
So, uh, I, yeah, I didn't get to route any more of the units. They came back, which kind of was kind of sucky for me. I was hoping to cause more more of a chain route for him there. So again, it's in his favor. He's gonna charge in with those guys. He's charging over here. Those guys will get back. Um, I think I think I take out his nine pounders. And this is a stand-up fight that I probably won't win. I don't remember how it went. I think these guys are still firing. Yeah. So, again, it's looking like it's in my favor because those units broke. But then these units came back from routing. Um, I didn't really notice that. Let's go fast forward again. Like I noticed that they're there. I put my guys here. And uh, yeah, he had two foot units. It's a militia and fusiliers. I, I took my, yeah. So my um, calves that I had, I was like, I'm going to go take out his remaining general unit and that failed um, this wasn't going for my for in my favor because he had uh, he had the cover of the trees and he was shooting forward um, but you know uh, me shooting him didn't do much because of the cover there so I mean that you're gonna be hitting the trees a lot and he used his remaining four with with good intent. He, you know, pretty much him running through here routed my fusiliers there, and these guys are gonna be taken out as well. And those guys break. So at this point, I was like, uh, everything's everything's gone except for this howitzer. So I'm going to do the cheap thing and sit in this corner on um, canister shot. And then I was just hoping that that he will just, you know, walk in here and uh, didn't switch to how it's a shot right away because he can still shoot a few. Uh, this other unit came back from routing again. Um... But he facing uphill and outnumber he didn't do very much. Let me see there. There they are running away. It's the Englishmen. Englishmen are just Just marching on. That's still a very strong unit, and that's half a unit. So it's those two units versus how it's there. So let's watch the show really. It's kinda it's kinda what's gonna happen. They, he has to come at me. It's kind of cheap of me to do, I admit. But, um, had to be done. It's like that unit already broke. It broke that quick? I don't realize. It took, took some losses and ran away. He does a smart thing and he tries to run around the unit, but since it's on attack, uh, 
It's not just face forward and shoot. The cannons turned and shot. I believe. I believe. Oh, they just shot. I don't know. There he is. They're just turning. So yeah, the the line infantry is not gonna get to the to the howitzer quick enough to uh, do any damage, and that cheaply gave my second win. I don't want to take any of my own credit away, but I will say that Mr. Armchair General, whose name in Steam is Blonode, did very well. And even though I haven't played Napoleon for a while, um, I can't say that I'm very good, but. This made me want to play Napoleon again, so I want to say thank you to him and thank you for all of you who watched this video and for all the guys that put together the community league and I hope this is a nice fun experience for everyone. Um, we get to chat while we do these games and we get to uh, meet each other and you know maybe Hopefully have new friendships and all sorts of fun and maybe even entertain some people as they watch our videos. So with all of that, thank you for watching. Uh, please do comment down below with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. If you like to see the other uh, games that are being played, there will be a playlist containing all the games as soon as they come out on everybody's channel. Uh, everybody that is taking part in this and especially on Dragonheart the Prince of Wales' channel he's, since he's the one that's running the league so there you go I'll see you guys next time bye bye